Our final topic in today's demo is going to be reporting. Acumatica offers three different types of reporting tools, which are all included within Acumatica. The first is our financial report writer, which is used to create financial and project reports using any ledger in the GL. The second is the standard report designer. This is a Windows-based tool that allows you to select any data and forms that, and lets you customize the format of those results. Our last type of reporting tool is a generic inquiry writer. This is very similar to a SQL query driven tool um, that is web-based and allows you to be very particular with the reports that you design. To demonstrate some reports, we will start off by going into our finance workspace and selecting a financial statement. For today, we will use a balance sheet. From here, we can select and run a report. Now, this is an example of a Acumatica financial report. From our report, we can see the grand totals of our items, as well as because it is a browser-based, and we can drill in to any of the details of our totals by just simply clicking on them. Those will bring us up. Uh, this allows us to view account-specific information where we could even export this information into Excel or to a PDF if we needed to. Now, aside from those drill down details, financial reports also allow you to group based on unit sets. In my environment, I have multiple different companies and branches, so I can drill into any of these specifics for any of those branches by selecting and co the corresponding unit set. Now, as an example of our report designer, I can navigate to the report definitions screen. Um, from here, I can select the report that I would like to change. So we're going to do the balance sheet. From here, we can define row sets, column sets, copy reports, copy rows and columns, and use them to create new reports. In this example, I will change my unit set from branches to products. Change it from branches down to products, hit save. Now, when we go back into our balance sheet and run our report, you're now grouped by individual products instead of branches. This allows me to see one product at line at a time versus the consolidated product view. So if I wanted to see just the consumer goods or just the electronics and, cons and computers, this makes my information a lot more specific. This is just one example of many different financial reports within Acumatica. To demonstrate a standard report, we will select from a list of sales order reports. For this example, we will use a sales order details by customer. When we run this report, it allows us to see customer specific information. Um, we're no longer seeing a financial report, but instead seeing all of the sales orders that have been placed, placed by our individual customers. Just like our financial statements, we can click on any of these sales orders to drill into them specifically to get more information about them. And once we're in here, we can review it, and then we can click back out to our, to our overall customer review. Our last topic to demonstrate is our generic inquiry. To do this, we're just going to drill into any of our dashboard tiles. So we can go back to our home page of the controller, and uh, all dashboard tiles are driven by generic inquiries. So by clicking on total AP, we can pull up our vendor summary. From here, we can once again see all the benefits of filters by using them to see the only the data we want to see. Say we want to see the vendors that have a balance due that's over $5,000. We can click on our filter, click on our prop and add a new filter property we can click on and make it um, balance due. We can click on is greater than and say $5,000. We could save this as a normal filter that will sit up at the top like normal, or we can just click apply and see only our vendors that have a balance due of over $5,000. We can also create our inquiries by clicking customize. And from here, we're able to select um, edit general inquiry, and we're able to select any tables that we would like to pull into the query 
We can also relate those tables. Um, we can add additional parameters or conditions and even add highlighting to any to only show specific data as specific colors within our tables.